Okay, we are back. Like I said, the um, the issue with the getting stuck at the bonfire is a side effect of the 60 FPS patch. I don't know if he'll be able to fix it, but I'm sure he's working on it. Uh, what else? It only seems to happen at Fire Lake Shrine, I've noticed. I don't know if that's just because I go to Fire Lake Shrine more than any other bonfire. It could just be coincidence. But yeah, definitely seems to happen there more than anything, anywhere else. I'm not even sure it has happened anywhere else. I can't remember. Okie dokie. See, it looks like we can fall further as well with the uh, flippy thing. This. And take no fall damage. I know, I know it doesn't completely negate fall damage, but it certainly seems to make you take less. Although maybe that was a coincidence, I don't know. Now, there's going to be ghosts along here, and we can't hit them with regular weapons. We're going to have to use uh, transient curses. And I've only got two, but they do drop them. Albeit not very often. There's a ghost right there. These guys are kind of tough. But they're squishy. So we just smack them a couple of times and we'll be fine. But the problem with problems with the ghosts in this game is that they tend to come in large packs. And then they are really dangerous. And this deep water here will kill me. Just trying to see. I know there's an object around here, but maybe we have to come back after we drain this. Because, yes, spoiler, I'm afraid, we do drain this. And that is the first thing we need to do above all else here. We did get the key to New London Ruins in Blighttown, so... Oh! I actually forgot these dudes were here. Turn around. Is there any more? No. No, I think there's a shit ton around this corner. This is where a lot of people die. Let's get that one down. Rush this one. The dog's gonna bark, as usual. We're used to that by now, aren't we? Okay, one more. Let's roll out of the way. No, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, we've got a transient curse drop there. I don't think... Well, actually, it could be their weapon, because they can drop, uh, like, a ghost dagger or something. Yep, uh, curses, and more curses. Well, that helps us out on the return visit if we die again, which we probably will. This guy needs to get out of the wall. I can't hit you there, bro. Fucking finally. God, I wish my dog would stop randomly barking. It's never going to happen, though, is it? Never going to happen. I'm not cutting that one out. That's too much trouble. All right. We have an item here, which is a parrying dagger, which is what the boulders hold in their hands, uh, so that when you attack them, you just auto-parry. I don't know if that's the way it actually works when you use it as a player. Maybe it is. I've never tried it. Is that seriously fogged off? My, oh, maybe that's just like a, a fog wall, rather than me being invaded. That sounds dirty. I hope we're not, because it's annoying. But in the same, at the same time, I kind of hope we are, because it's more entertaining. But we'll see. This is actually a banshee, not a ghost. Why can't I hit it? That was annoying. Yes, and that's why it screams. Okay, let's pass through this. I think there's a ton of ghosts in here, maybe. Not just yet. Oh, I know where we are. There's a ton of ghosts pretty soon. That guy's going to try and stab us through the roof. I'm not even going to worry about him. I think there's another one along here. Oh, there's one below us, that's right. There's lots of hidden stuff and secrets in this place. But I'm just mainly concerned about getting the important shit and not dying. So, there is a lot of ghosts in this room, I think. One right there, yeah. Shit. Alright, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here before we die. Let me out. Fuck. Right, go down the staircase and heal like crap. Okay. Oh, what the? Oh, holy shit. Right, stab as many as you can. Oh, my God. Oh, he stopped me healing. That's not good. I think I'm alerting more as I run along. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We are so fucking screwed. I'm just going to keep running. I think I'm going to alert more and more as I go along, though. This is the problem. And they're, they're in the walls and everything. They're in the walls, damn it. They're in the walls. Oh, my God. There's so many. Oh, my God. There's so many. Run away. Run away. Right, I see two. I see three. I see four. Just killed like 16. 
This is costing me all of my Estus. Right, find about time. I got one. Fuck! Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Heal up. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Still four left? What the fuck? I think I've alerted every ghost in the area. I really do. <sighs> I honestly cannot fucking believe I just lived. Right, we need to do some serious backtracking now because I just ran half a mile. Right, where the fuck was I? Alright, let's go get this item out here. Some up there as well. Let's go get this one first. Green Titanite Shard. Useful for like magic weapons and stuff. And this is human. No, no. Up. Oh, I see you there. I see you. What the hell are you doing? I don't know what that guy's doing. Right. Let's actually go back in the building that we're just in. Because I don't think we got everything in there. What's up here? I'm so fucking lost. I am so lost. Oh, shit. That is a way to fall off the edge. Let's not do that. Good lord, let's not do that. Right, we came from that direction. We went this way, and this is where I got mobbed by everything known to man. Uh, oh hello. Is that a banshee? Yeah, it's a banshee. Apparently they're immune whilst they're doing that. Who would have thunk it? Actually, I think my transient curse has run out. I'm going to pop one quickly. And I'm going to charge. Kill that dude. No, he's not dead. Apparently the banshee shoots. Did not know this. What are you doing up there? Alright, two can play that game. Oh. Alright, he's dead. Oh, don't want to use... Oh, okay. Fuck. We need to, we need to attack him right now. <laughs> oh, more curses. Alright. We are near to where we need to be. We need to go up here. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not easy. Luckily we don't have to go back for all this crap to get to the boss. Oh, but we do need to open up the shortcut first. Let's talk to this dude. He's an important NPC. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors. Save for Goost. You have... The Lord Vassal. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. So if you have the Lord Vessel, this guy gives you the key. If you don't, he won't. But you can just come and kill him for the key. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the Abyss may prove surmountable. Alright, I'm going to use the humanity now just to get back to full health. I'm not too concerned about wasting it. Hello there. The key to the seal is now in your hands. I will help you in any way possible. Alright. You can have your curse broken. And you can purchase transient curses from him. Resist curse spell. And that's all he's ready to go. Um. Um, 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 um. Yeah, we've got no need to kill him. I was, I was going to kill him. Right, I want to go over there and get that. No, I think we just drop... What do we do? What do we do, 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 do? There's one down here as well. I guess we got to get on the lower part of the roof. And I'm damned if I can remember how we do that. Right, let's not drop down here because that would devastate our HP. Okay. What is that noise? I think there's all these bones and shit on the floor. Yeah. 
Okay. Screw you, pots. I don't think we went this way. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a ghost in the wall. Coming in. I think we're still cursed. Yes. Yes, we are. I don't think there's any... I just kicked the bloody ghost, and I really didn't mean to. I don't think there's any effects, uh, negative effects of transient curse. There might be. Solve a prana. Ooh, okay. Right. Now. I'm trying to remember where to go. I think we got to go along here. I think if we go up on the right here, we can get to those two items I saw. Maybe. And yeah, we've been followed by a ghost, but one doesn't really bother me that much. 15,000, like I killed earlier. Yeah, that's a bit worrying. I think this is humanity. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to throw a thunderbolt at this dude. He's kind of pissing me off. Oh, I didn't kill him. And that did. Thank you, come again. Alright, flip onto this. And go grab this item. Now we are very, 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 very near to opening the shortcut, but we've still got some ghosts between us. I might use another curse. We did pick up quite a lot of them. I just don't want it to run out, and it would be very, very dangerous if it ran out in the middle of a fight. How do we get back off here? I think we have to roll back through one of these windows and waste some HP, which is really annoying. Yeah, I'm going to use another curse just before I get to the next so, uh, the next lot of ghosts. Okay. Nope, that is not the way we're supposed to be going. What the fuck am I doing? Yep, wasted my HP. What's new, eh? Uh, where was it? Oh, it's through here, I think. Maybe. Oh, no, it wasn't. That's right. But we can take the window again. Right, we need to go through here and down here. I remember now. This place is like a fucking maze. What's this way? I'm so confused. Okay. And up here and then left. That's right. Left is right. Yeah, it looks like we're uncursed now anyway. So let's pop one before we go in here because I think there's ghosts in here. There probably is, let's be honest. need to open this shortcut. It doesn't move. Ah, we can't do that just yet. We need to go through here, I believe, which is the key to the seal that he gave us. Yes, and this... This drains everything. We've made it the first time without dying, damn it. Okie dokie, that is the important part done. Now that that has been done, I believe we can now raise this. And then we can take that down to the bottom. But we really, really need to go back to Phylic Shrine to get some Estus Flasks. I'm going to quickly check over here. What is this? Composite bow and some arrows. Can we equip the composite bow and use it? Probably not. No, we again need more dexterity for that. Well, that's okay. And that down there is the Valley of the Drakes. This is the other end, the Undead Dragon's just around that corner. I think you might just be able to see him. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Even I can't see him properly, so... Yeah. Er, where are we going now? Yeah, I guess back to Firelink Shrine. I mean, we can take this elevator down. But, that's not really a good idea. Because we'll just die down there. Yeah, screw it. Let's go back. Use our last homeward bone. I'm going to purchase a couple more of the merchant. And... Need transient curses on the bar. Uh, yeah, that seems about right. Right. Let's go back to Firelink Shrine. Okay, so... I'm going to go buy a couple of bones from that merchant that's up there on the right in that waterway. The one that I said I attacked the first time through by mistake. And yes, I will cut you back in uh, when we're back in a similar position in New Londo Ruins. Because you don't want to see me run all the way through. 
Unless I decide to take the shortcut, which I might actually. I don't know. Well, I'll cut you back in anyway. Okay, change of plan. After we leveled up, I've decided... In fact, let's use the teleport thingy. That we're actually going to first of all walk to the under parish. And we're going to go kill the moonlight butterfly that I spoke about earlier, which... Because we hadn't killed it, we got invaded by that dude. Who I kind of just wailed on. Yeah, we're going to go kill that, because you can get a decent ember that's useful after killing it. And second of all, we want to kill it. It's an optional boss, we want to do it. And the other reason is because apparently, and I don't know how true this is, but supposedly there's a summon sign near the Moonlight Butterfly for like a, an NPC, which I never actually saw, and I never used it last time. But apparently if you summon that NPC for that boss fight, that NPC then becomes available to summon for the Four Kings boss fight. And I'd really like some help on the Four Kings from an NPC. So we're going to try that. That is the main reason we are doing this. We're going to run along here. Stab this dude. Drop anything? Yes, you did. Go off the side. Yeah. Alkali Dekali. Alkali Dekali do. Probably going to get uh, attacked again. Which is super annoying. Well, whatever. Killed the last one. Right. Give me, give me. Stop dropping those ones. I want the purple ones, god damn it. I've never used the anti-bleed ones. But I've used the purple ones. They are useful. Alright. Let's go here for the first time in the video. Oh my god. This is a pretty early area. Early game area, but... For whatever reason, I just didn't do it. Until now. And we have an ambush. And one more. Go for it. Right. You me. Yeah, that's the one. That's what we want. There's some kind of really tough enemies here. But we're probably strong enough to be able to kill them before they become a threat. They have a move where they can kind of cast this magic spell that binds you and makes you move really slow. But hopefully we'll be able to take them out before they do that. And yes, this is them. And they can drop their shield and their weapon. But they are pretty damn rare drops as far as I'm aware. Yeah, that's the spell he was doing right there. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. There's a pretty decent set of armor. I think this is it. Looks pretty well guarded, so it probably is. And yep, yeah, there's two dudes. Right. Let's equip our thunderbolts. We're gonna hit the tree, probably. Yep, yeah, of course you walk behind it like a complete dick. Well, that is not what we want. I c I'm so stuck. Let me out of here. Right. Thunderbolt time. Should take two more. Yeah, almost killed him. Right. Easy enough. Give quite a lot of souls. No, I think there's another one here that for some reason didn't wake up. I'm not sure why. But I'll take it. There's more bush people here as well. I want to get rid of the bush people first. Just to thin out the herd. Ah, whatever. Just stab him. Right. Purple moss. Useful. You didn't drop anything. Yeah, Elite Knight set. I'm going to equip that now just to show you what it looks like. It's actually what the dude was wearing at the very start of the game that dropped the dead body down for us. Looks pretty cool. I like it. There's actually a Skyrim mod, which someone has, like made a very accurate replica of this armor. But as you can see, we can't do our quick movement in this, so unfortunately we are going to stick with the thief stuff, because I'd rather move quickly. It's worked well for me so far. Apart from the fact that I have most of the time thrown myself off edges, but, you know, can't really blame the flipping and stuff on that. It's just my incompetence. So I'm going to clear out this forest very quickly. There's not too much here, and then we'll go kill the boss. Some weird enemies around here as well, like this tree snake. Look at that thing. It's weird. Yeah. 72 souls. Nice. I should have saved my lightning spears for the boss, honestly, because it flies being a butterfly, but yeah. We'll probably be fine, honestly. 
it's pretty weak. It can do a lot of damage to you, but it's pretty weak. If we have a good magic resistance shield, could be very useful. Alright, this is the last enemy before the boss, I believe. And more for you trying to cast that spell, idiot. No drop, god damn it. Whoa, look at him go. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. What was I going to do? Uh, we've already got our spells ready. Ah, shield, magic defense, that's right. What is this? 42. 40, 90. Oh, that's Havel shield, that's why. Can't wield that, you need 50 friggin' strength. Look at that. That is ridiculous, but it's a really good shield. I used that on my other character because that was just like a strength character. Wow, the Cracked Around shield has much more mag magic defense. I'm actually going to equip that for this fight. Even though it's an ugly piece of shit. Look at it. It's got more magic defense. And that's the only thing this boss uses on you, so... As silly as it is, it is. It's the best shield. For the situation. Right, where's the butterfly? Let's equip our Thunderbolts. Oh, there we are. This guy's easy to miss. He kind of has to be standing still. But as you can see, pretty devastating. So can that be. Oh, we got him with that. Cool. That, if that move hits you, can really fuck your day up. That one. Oof. That's what I'm talking about. Let's heal up, just to be safe. Alright, I'm not too worried about that one. He's coming into land. I could I could melee him now. I just want to kill him with magic. Of course, now he's not in the position. That's just annoying. Get back up, you bastard. I want to mage you to death. I forgot to summon the fucking enemy for the boss fight. Oh, shit. That was the whole intention of this. Mm. That's really annoying. Now I'm in two minds as to whether to start the boss fight over or not. Ah, fuck it. Let's just kill him. I killed the four kings before on my own. We'll do it again. So we got the soul of that prick. And along here. Oh, humanity as well. Don't get many souls from this guy. You get 10k. Which I guess is decent, but there's not a lot. Right, up here, there's something kind of interesting, at least I think so. Oh, long staircase. Really long staircase. Holy shit, I wonder if you can jump at this window and kill yourself. Probably. What's this? Safe zone ahead. No shit, Sherlock. And we get here, on this dead guy who looks like Andre of Astora. Watchtower basement key. Can't remember what the hell that's for, but a divine ember as well. And a homeward bone, just for the sake of it. So this is like a, a blacksmith, as you can see from the anvil and everything, and the hammers and stuff, who has assumably died. Because he's not alive. You're not alive, are you, buddy? No, you're not. No, oh, I destroyed his crap. Well, we're going to go back to the bonfire, and then from Phylink Shrine, we are going to take on the Four Kings, apparently solo, because I, as usual, forgot to check for the summer sign before the boss. That's all right. Uh, we cannot kindle. So I guess... Can we level up? I think we're a little bit short. Let's see if we can use an item. I think we picked some up, didn't we? Don't want to use the boss souls. Let's use this one. That might be enough. Yeah, it is. Just. Right, let's get our intelligence up one more, and then we can use that other spell. Let's go to attune magic. Right, what have we actually got equipped right now? Lightning Spear, we want to keep that on because it's cool. And I want to use Homing Soul Mask because I never have. I'll show you what this does. Very briefly. If I can remember how to do it. Do we need a Catalyst? Right, let's get rid of this bloody shield as well. Uh, Tower Shield instead. Do we need a Catalyst? Yes. We can only have two apparently. The really high level one, you can have like uh, five or six... I think it might be five little orbs following you. And somehow you shoot them at the enemy, but I'm not sure how. Is it that button? Nope. How do you shoot them in it? How did that one die? What the fuck? So how do I aim these? Well, that's cool. Do they just automatically go? 
Yeah, apparently they do. Okay, fair enough. Again, like I said, I've never used this spell before. I do not know. I'm sure there are some that you can control on your own. At least, I think that's what I heard. It's not bad. They seem to do about 80 damage a shot. It's probably not going to do a whole lot against the four kings. We're really going to have to melee those dudes, to be honest. And you can notice Big Hat Logan has disappeared. And he, may, he has a habit of that. How did you die here? How did so many people die here? What the hell? Let's look at the thingy. Where's he going? What's he doing? He killed himself rolling into the well. Nice one. Yes, you can actually fall down that well and kill yourself. I guess that was his intention. I really don't know. Let's get our spells back. And then, I believe we are now finally ready to fight the four kings. Unfortunately, we have to wear the covenant of a T Artorius ring. Otherwise, we cannot traverse the abyss, which is where the four kings are located. If we try and fight the four kings without that ring on, we just fall to our deaths. Because you're basically standing on nothing. So yeah, that's kind of crippling that you can't wear a good ring. Or at least not two good rings. But for now, we keep the dark, dark wood grain ring on. Until we get there and we'll equip it just before the boss. So, yes. Four kings time. 